Let's keep using nades. Seems to be working pretty good so far. Did we kill him? We killed him. Good. And he didn't blow up. Oh, shit. I'm sick. <laughs> Hold the live grenade. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is uh, my insane nightmare. Let's play series on Alpha 18.2. It is Horde Night. This will be our third Horde Night. Uh, I am at game stage 170, and I'm expecting this to be a pretty nasty horde. But I think we are about as prepared as we can be, and uh, we're ready for these guys. Look at all the ammo I have. I've got lots of ammo. I am at... Uh, machine gunner level four, special forces, and we've got ourselves our AK here, and we've also got our um, MP5 here, or not an MP5, well, yeah, we got an MP5 too, but our M60, and I think we're ready to uh, kick some ass and take some names, so, yeah, we're ready to do this tonight. Um, I'll be really surprised if I completely run out of ammo tonight. Um... But let's see what happens. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got lots of grenades. So, this should be interesting. Junk turrets starting in on them already. All right. So, let's open up this hatch here. And give them a little something there. Okay, we got <laughs> we got it. We got to actually get them uh, at the corner there. We got to get them at the corner. So they should, in theory, should more or less stay away from our. Here we go. Uh, our central pillar because we've got the. Did I hear a a demo already? It sure sounds like there's one down there. I wonder why they're all congregated in the doorway there. Okay. Boom. <laughs> okay. It sure sounds like there's a demo down there. Okay, let's go to this corner here. Let's see if we can drag them, a few of them over. Come on, guys. They're not... Uh, they're not really wanting to come to the corner so much, are they? We'll get a couple of big mommas out of the deal anyway. Yep, they're dead. Okay. Let's keep these closed when we're not actually using them so we don't accidentally fall in. Somebody's done some major damage there. Come on over, guys. I wonder why they're sticking in the doorway. That's really weird. See if we can get the grenade over that way a little bit more. There we go. Right on, sirs. That sure sounds like a demo to me, man. I don't see him, though. I don't see where he's at. Okay, is anybody by the central pillar? Oh, there is a demo, and he's already broken through our... our arrows. He's right... In the worst place he could possibly be. Okay, well, hopefully if we stay away from him, he won't explode. <laughs> he already broke through the the arrow slits. That's not good. We might have to rethink our strategy on that. Grenades have pretty good pretty good range of AOE. Let's uh, see if we can... Well, I was trying to bounce one a little further over. 
I wonder if a grenade will set a demo off. Sounds like there's more than one demo. We've got one down there for sure. So yeah, they're getting they're getting hung up on the arrow slits, but they're breaking through them, which is not good. Okay, let's get over here. Okay, there's a demo in that corner. Let's just uh, give these guys a little bit of ex explosions here. So the grenades don't seem to set the demos off. From what I'm seeing here. They like to hang out in those doorways. Alright, so we went through a stack of nades. Let's, uh, let's, let's light these guys on fire. Does fire set off the demos? Okay, we got a couple of exploding arrows, too. Um, okay, let's hit him with that. It doesn't seem to light him off. Or set him off. Man, that guy is tough. Okay. Let's keep using nades. Seems to be working pretty good so far. Did we kill him? We killed him. Good. And he didn't blow up. Oh, shit. I'm saying... <laughs> Hold the live grenade. I hope those uh, yellow bags can't get destroyed. Can't believe how many demos that it sent after me already are, are so soon. Nice. another demo see the thing too is we're as long as we're five blocks up or actually we're six blocks up his explosion is not not supposed to reach up to where we are now it can still do wreak havoc on the wall itself but all right let's uh let's go back over here kind of keep them distributed a little bit so they're not in one space what's going on over here by the way So we still have some people messing around down in the central pillar, but I can't get a, an explosive down there. Hmm. Okay, well. Come on over here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on over here. They don't seem to be coming to the corners as much as I want them to. Let's just stand over here and see if we can get a few to come over. Hmm. Okay. Right, let's go back over this way. reload this guy. These grenades pretty much take the non irradiators out almost in one hit, which is good.
Lots of yellow bags down there. Okay, there's a the demo. Yeah, stay right there, buddy. Boom. Knocked him on his butt. The grenades don't seem to hurt the yellow bags, which is good. Wasn't sure what the deal with that was going to be. Alright, we're almost out of nades, and then we're going to start shooting. We've almost gotten up to the next level with these nades, though, so it's working out good. Got a spider down there. Uh-oh. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, so... We had a demo blow up. I'm not sure... Looks like he blew up down below there. So there's quite a bit of damage there. But he didn't take the whole pillar out. That's the important thing. Come on, get in the corner, guys. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. We seem to be able to have maximum effectiveness with these if we stay out in the front here. Oh, that hurt me. Okay, well, we're out of grenades. And it is time to start shooting. So, let's get some magnum action going here. There's a, a white. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be shooting this right now because uh, I don't have that much skill in it. So let's go ahead and start using this. Got a lot good skills in machine guns. Start taking off some heads here. She's dead. Get her, yep. There we go. Off with his head. Look at that XP coming in. It's beautiful. We got Edgar's leg taken off. Always a good thing. She did. Hard to get headshots off on him, but all right.
Lots of yellow bags for us to loot in the morning. Hold still, spider. Off with Edgar's head. Yeah, we're definitely much more efficient at killing with this thing now than we were the last time. I'm mostly sticking to the AK for now just because the M60 is going to really go through the ammo. And the AK seems to be working pretty good, so... Plus we got that rad uh, remover on it. Next level. So we've gone up two levels so far. It's good. Big mama. They broke them through to the vending machine, so a bunch of whites down there. Look at all those heads. Let's give this a repair, and while that's repaired, let's do a couple shotties. The nice thing about the shotgun is we get multiple hits for the price of one. I just got to get my skills up in it a little more. I think I only have one or two points in shotguns. Well, actually, no. We have three. Have to look. Nope, he's not dead yet. Now he is. <laughs> like a... What do we have for shotgun skills? Two. Okay. But I think we we might have an effective three with our cigar in our mouth. I'm not sure. Well, not effective shotgun, but we have a more strength skill, though. She dead? Yeah. Sure glad we got the pump now. Hey, stay away from my vending machine. You son of us. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably wait until we use the Magnum until we get our handgun skill up. I'm going to start working on that because uh, it's also going to help with the SMG too. We've got a cop down there. No blowing up. Not allowed. We gotta get the tube mod installed on this. All right, let's go to this corner now for a little bit. Give that one a break. They'd like to hang out though at the 
at the uh, vending machine, I've noticed. Okay, it's about 2.30 in the morning. Alright, let's try some SMG action. Just to kind of switch things up a little bit here. No, you don't, Copper. Look at all the yellow bags. We still got people down in our thing here. Okay, so we've just expended all of our normal ammo. Now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go for uh, armor piercing. But I saw another copper down there. I hear him down there. Yeah, they're really hanging out down here, aren't they? Yeah, wait, wait till we get our our skills up in this gun. This thing is going to be deadly. Oh wow! It went all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, let's get the M60 out now. Do a little bit of. Red in here. 5,693 points. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, they're doing a number on the central pillar, man. No, you don't, cop. So my arrow slit thing, I don't know how effective that actually been. Not, not very effective when they break it. That's the thing. I think, you know, making the core of that all steel, though, has really made a difference. Okay, let's go back to our AK, just so we don't blow all of our ammo away. Start to get a little bit low. Okay, he's dead. That's 323, almost through the Horde Knight. Let's go back to this this one. Seem to be able to have a little more luck getting through to him here because of the opening. We might have to try um, a pyramid setup next time. Of course, next time we're gonna have we're gonna have electric fences and we're gonna have probably dart traps and stuff too so that's gonna make a huge difference I might even try something like what we're doing on the multiplayer server which I might actually 
put out uh, on the YouTube channel because we're going to do our hard night tomorrow. It's going to be our 90, 98th night and it's going to be nasty. No, 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 no. No cops. No cops spitting aloud. Or explosions. Neither one. Man, look at all the cops that's sending after me. How do we put these murder holes here? Otherwise, those guys would be going to town on our central pillar and we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Is that cop gonna spit? Oh! We really... <laughs> He <laughs> really blew through all of our 762. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Oh, okay. Well, here. Armor piercing rounds for you guys. One copper just blew up. All right. Well, and it's morning, guys. Well, almost. A couple minutes. A couple in-game minutes, a couple seconds in real time. There we go. All right, so we just got to clean out the trash. And the base held up. Got beat up a little bit, but it held up for the most part, I think. We will have some repairing to do, of course. Still not dead. Hold still. Goodness gracious. Can't hit her. We're going to definitely have to make some more ammo, that's for sure. <laughs> He's dead. Here, let's get our junk to, to help us out here. Clean up the trash. Okay. Be nice if one of these guys dropped a, uh, an auger for us. Wow, look at it. all the way down there. That's not good. Yeah, we'll have to see how effective our, uh, our multiplayer horde base goes tomorrow night. And if, it got, if it does as well as I think it's going to, then I might do something similar on this. Uh, on the single player game here too. We'll see. There's still a few of these guys left. Alright, let's get this repaired. Man, I still can't believe we blew through all of our 762. That's crazy. Nurse Nancy. There we go. Okay, so yeah, these guys uh, dug a big old hole down there. Interesting. Where y'all at? Are they all like underneath? Oh, there's still some down here. Okay. Eh? 
And we're out of ammo in that too. Wow. Alright, shoddy. That's kind of far away. I don't think she's dead. Nope. Yeah, it's a little bit far away from the shotgun. Okay, let's go out here. Let's take that contact grenade with us. Here, let's eat something too. That was a hard night's work, man. So it took all of our grenades and damn near all of our ammo to kill these guys. It looks like the rest of them are all stuck down here. they take that whole central pillar out <laughs> the good thing though is they focused more on that and not so much on the walls this time i mean they did a number on that wall but that's because we spent most of our time on that wall i think that's it I think that's it. Okay, let's put our lucky looters on and check the bags. Very nice. Upgrade to our M60. Okay, more ammo. Yeah. Any machine is still intact. Okay. So they didn't take out the they didn't take out the central core <laughs> of the steel. Look at that. That's amazing. But boy, did they ever do some digging down here. My goodness. Look at that. Interesting. We might have to uh consider turning this thing into a pit at some point. Look at that though. This thing held up the whole time. You, you know, we had it, we had one demo blow up down here, too. That's pretty good. So, you know, if, if this whole thing was just solid steel all the way up, just think about, think how much more tougher it would be. I, I'll have to tell you what, though. I don't, I wasn't really impressed with the arrow slit thing. I didn't, I don't think that worked out so well. I mean, it probably did help some, but... Yeah, we had almost nothing over here, which is to be expected because we didn't spend any time over there. But in terms of, you know, actual completely broken blocks, there's not a ton. I mean, this this isn't going to be that hard to patch up, really. You know, lots of just minor damage for the most part. All of the steel blocks that we put in place in the corners are intact. So yeah, overall I'm pretty pretty pleased with how well this base held up. Pretty darn pleased. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on we're going to work on making steel like there's no tomorrow because we have two we have two uh, crucibles now. And you know, we're going to make this whole entire central pillar steel all the way up. The whole idea with the flat with the arrow slip blocks, I you know, I just don't know. My, you know, my plan was to, to do the whole perimeter with that, but I'm just not sure that that's really effective because, you know, even though those do theoretically stop disease from walking on them, it doesn't stop them from breaking them, as, as we saw very early on tonight. So, yeah, we might have to, we might have to rethink that strategy. Uh, might go with a pyramid type of setup. Uh, like the steep inclined pyramids, the zombies will not, not only can they not walk up those but they don't seem to attack them either uh so that's a strategy we could consider you know possibly using for the next horde night but anyways guys that is it so i've got lots of repairing to do i've got lots of ammo to remake 
<laughs> um, I'm still, I'm still just blown away that we used up all of that 762. I mean, how many stacks did we start with? I'll have to go back in the video and look, but there was a lot and I have nothing left. What you see there is what we looted. That's just crazy. That's just crazy, man. Crazy. And we didn't even start shooting until the night was damn near half over because we started with nades, which by the way, were pretty damn effective. We almost have the next levels. We just about picked up three levels from this horde night, which is great too. Uh, thanks to our nerdy glasses. But anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, not sure what we'll do. Probably more questing. Uh, we are done with tier threes and we can start tier fours now. I will probably do most of my repairing um, and mining and getting my ammo back and all that off camera. So it may be a couple of, you know, a few in-game days before uh, you see me in the next episode. But uh, once that happens, we'll go have some more fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you didn't hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.